Hey friends, thank you so much for joining me for yet another episode. I was thinking while I'm packing my stuff in the garage, I came across some of the things that I bought when I was starting out and I haven't even seen, used or touched in over a year. And then I started thinking, well, if I could go back in time and advise myself um, or advise somebody who wants to pick up a camera or get into photography now of the things to avoid buying when starting out, what would those things be? So today I'm gonna cover just a few purchases that I make. I regret some not to say they're entirely not useful, but as a beginner and also not knowing what you want to shoot or want to sort of focus on in the long term, they in time become bad purchases and bad investments. So without wasting any time, here are five items that I regret purchasing when starting out and would advise anybody who's picking up a camera today to probably reconsider. First thing is this, I'm gonna put it to my face, hopefully it's focusing. It's the DJI Osmo Pocket 5. I'm not sure, and it's not specifically the DJI brand that I'm bashing. I, I'm in no way you know, bashing any brand, but it's the idea behind this. This is a mobile device gimbal. Now, it costs about 3,000 rands, 150 US dollars. Knowing what I know now and the fact that phones these days have such good stabilization, I found that I don't need this. And if you're going to take this along most times, then it becomes less easy for you to take out your phone and shoot because it takes some time to set up. Let me just take this out. And I have to go through all these things and then um, switch it on you know there and then have to start shooting so for me this whole exercise takes away the convenience and ease of use so this for me has become something really i don't see the need for it is in very good condition it just doesn't make sense for me now i will say this if you film yourself a lot and you film by yourself this then could become handy because you could easily have this set somewhere um, I'm just hoping it can focus, it doesn't matter if it doesn't, but then you can have this set up somewhere and then you are able to film yourself. But for my purposes, I found that this became quickly a terrible purchase and I have it, but yeah, that's it. A gorilla, a gorilla tripod, I just don't have the ball head here, but these, if you watch a lot of YouTube, content creators have noted these as some of the most must have items in your bag because of the flexibility, the durability, and just how compact it is. Now, what I found is after dropping my camera twice while it has been on this thing, it is not as stable, it is not as useful, and truth be told, it is not as reliable. So. I wouldn't trust something like this with an expensive camera on my investment because it's let me down and I think you're better off just buying a proper steady tripod that has multiple uses and can definitely cover whatever you think you would need this for. So this quickly became a bad purchase for me. So the third thing, let me see if I can get it, is wanting to buy something like this. Uh, I hope it's in frame as opposed to getting something like this. So this was my setup um, and I was really fortunate to have a friend to advise me when I started because like most of us, I watched a lot of YouTube and it is very easy to get carried away with purchases that you don't really need. So um, my friend Chris gave me that when I was starting out and I've used it for the longest time. So how I use this is I had my camera and my lens and my batteries inside and I could stuck this inside my laptop bag and then take my laptop with and add other things such as clothes and whatever I needed. So that worked and I used this setup for over a year and it worked perfectly and saved me a lot of money. So if I can advise you, don't rush to buy an expensive laptop bag, you know, until you get to a point where you have so much gear that you maybe feel like something like that is not going to lug around your gear anymore. Sooner or later, you're going to get so overwhelmed with gear and gear prices that you're going to want to save costs. And this is one of the purchases I regret. I hope it's in focus. Buying third-party batteries. 
Your camera is your biggest investment and using third-party or unreliable battery sources inside this investment of yours is a terrible idea. I would advise that you invest, save that money you are going to use to buy an expensive camera uh, bag to buy extra batteries, original batteries, because they are going inside your camera and really you want to have that peace of mind that it's quality. So this quickly became a bad purchase for me when I realized that this is probably not what I want to put inside my camera, which is my investment. So the last one is not necessarily a bad purchase. It's just a misaligned purchase. So I got something like this, the AD100 strobe, when I still had a weak entry level flash. Now I was doing more events and that's what I wanted to focus on. So what I should have done is invest in something like this, a bigger, more powerful strobe that is uh, more versatile that I can use for my events, get more out of it and can easily take it off the camera and use it as off camera. Whereas something like this has one purpose and that is off camera flash. So you cannot put it on your camera and move around with it, making it less mobile, less versatile and you know, making this a better investment, especially when you start, especially when you know you want to be moving around or shooting events. And I think that's just a bit of advice, not necessarily a bad purchase. I think if I could go back in time, I would have invested in this before I invested in this. But no harm done because I still put all of them to good use. So that is it. I do not want to keep the video too long. There are some other items and maybe there might be a part two of this um, to share. But I definitely, as a spin-off to this one, will be making a video on some of the best purchases to consider when starting out. Because I definitely did make a lot of good purchases as well that have helped me grow and grow quickly. That is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do consider liking and subscribing if you do want to see more content of this nature. I do appreciate it and it does help the channel. Till next time guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one.